Welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being into addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we're here every day on The Bright Side to help clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy. I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human body is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. Regeneration is built into the body, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you're dealing with a health challenge you need help with, we are here for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're committed to your health and wellness. Let us help you change your life today. 844-236-6010 is our number. Try to call in early so we can squeeze in as many calls as possible. 844-236-6010 is the number if you have a success story you'd like to share. We especially like hearing those, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can go to our website, brightsideben.com, also pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products off the website, or you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can order products off the phone uh, from the phone team, or you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. And don't forget about your truth treatment products, skin health products, retinol 5% gel, truth balm, truth serum, and our omega-6 healing cream. You can find out all about that at truthtreatments.com. We also have a blog, a skin health blog at truthtreatments.com as well. Okay, so we were talking last about one of my all-time favorite supplements. It's not a nutritional supplement. It's a hormone, melatonin. So many different things. And, uh, you know, everybody knows, most people anyway, that melatonin can help you fall asleep. But that's not the point of melatonin. Melatonin is an all-around health supplement. Anti-aging supplement, anti-pain supplement, anti-diabetic supplement, skin health supplement, hair health supplement. I mean, what do you want to know? What else do you want? <laughs> everything. It does everything. Yesterday we talked about neuropathy, and so many people are dealing with this miserable condition. Neuropathy is just nerve pain that seemingly f occurs for no reason. Well, nothing happens, of course, for no reason. Neuropathy is a sign that cells are dying, and it's affecting the nerves. Yesterday we said how pain is the result of uh, dead cells exploding their contents into tissue and circulatory system and contacting the electrical wiring. When that occurs, we feel pain. And no one just has neuropathy. You can't just have neuropathy. If you think you're healthy, and I get letters like this, oh, my diabetes is under control, everything's good, but I still have my neuropathy. No, it's not good. You're breaking down. Cells are dying. Neuropathy equals dead cells. That's not a good thing. Neuropathy equals exploding cells that aren't being fed and aren't being oxygenated and are swimming in their own poison, and that's not a good thing. That's never a good thing. And you don't just have it where you're feeling it, you have it all over your body. If you have neuropathy, you've got a major health issue, and that's a serious uh, sign or a, a major red flag for getting yourself on a good nutritional supplement program and changing your life big time. Neuropathy is a major sign of degeneration. Neuropathy is uh, cell death. And that's the solution. Protect the cells. That's how you end neuropathy. The illness, the, the challenge tells you how you deal with it. Now, if you go to your doctor, they'll give you a sleeping pill or an antidepressant pill or a Prozac or, or a Vicodin or a pain pill. That's not helping the situation. It's making it worse. Doctors hate that people don't want to take their drugs. I was just reading this article. <laughs> Craziness. Missing out on prescription medicines uh, uh, harms health. I think I talked about this yesterday. This is from the British Medical Journal. 
people, doctors say, well, you're going to get sick if you don't take your drugs. How did this ever happen that drugs make you healthy? How did, who thinks this? Drugs do not make you healthy under any circumstance. I'm not saying you don't need them. I'm not Pollyannish about this. There are times you need to control things for emergencies, but they're not making you healthier. How do we get healthy? Protect your cells, stop the cell death, use your Mighty 90, especially fats and fatty vitamins. Keep that cell membrane healthy. Oxygen, breathing, sugar reduction, staying away, uh, staying away, not using prescription medication or any other drugs for that matter. Now, as far as melatonin goes, there is a lot of evidence that talks about this stuff being amazing for protecting nerve cells. We talked yesterday about multiple sclerosis and melatonin. Melatonin is just an all-around hormonal tonic. It's gentle, it's benign hormone replacement therapy. Estrogen is not gentle and benign hormone replacement therapy. Estrogen is not even smart hormone replacement therapy. It's pretty darn dumb if you read up on estrogen. Progesterone is a little different. Progesterone is, is along, kind of like melatonin. Not quite as gentle as melatonin, but it's all, uh, on the, probably along the same lines. Another one, pregnenolone. We haven't talked about pregnenolone a lot, and I will be talking about pregnenolone as we continue this talk about hormones and skin health, because pregnenolone, man, that is amazing. If, you, if you're dealing with any kind of seizure disorders, you want to know about pregnenolone. If you're dealing with adrenal fatigue issues, you want to know about pregnenolone. By the way, that's spelled P-R-E-G, preg, nen, N-E-N-O-L-O-N-E, pregnenolone. We'll talk about that here in the coming days. Melatonin, though, gentle, benign, amazing multiple benefits. You've got to be respectful of it. It's a hormone. You've got to be respectful of it. But for most folks, three to six milligrams a night isn't going to cause any problems. And because it's an all-around health supplement, you don't need to have insomnia to enjoy its benefits. Just because you fall asleep fine at night, you could still benefit from three milligrams a day or a night. Take it at night. Don't take it during the day. Three milligrams a night of melatonin, especially as you get older. You may be getting benefits, uh, if you're taking your melatonin to fall asleep, you may be getting anti-aging benefits you don't know about. It, it, stabilizes, uh, it stabilizes blood fats. It's anti-cholesterol. Do you know serum cholesterol, blood cholesterol levels are decreased by melatonin? It's a statin drug without the statin drug toxicity. And statin drugs, make no mistake about it, even though... Uh, now, doctors are, uh, I'm just reading another article here about doctors freaking out because people aren't taking their statin drugs. Doctors are free. Bad press makes patients stop statins, raises their MI risk. Oh, my God. This has got to be a drug company funded study here. Danish National Cohort Study. Study by uh, a couple of doctors, I can't even pronounce their name, from, from Norway, published in the European Health Journal show that uh, it's the overall image of statins that's causing people to not take their drugs. Look, people don't want to take drugs. <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. And this is what this whole compliance issue is about. You know, in pharmacy school, they always told us, patients are non-compliant. Patients won't take their drugs. You've got to make sure your patient's taking the drugs. This is what they, the hip, hypnotic trance that pharmacy school students are put under. Now, I got lucky. I woke up out of the trance. But they hypnotize you into thinking the, the patients are stupid. They're not going to take their drugs. So now doctors are, are freaking out because people aren't taking their statin drugs. Same day, okay, this came out yesterday, December 9th, December 7th, two days earlier, from uh, the journal Pancreas. Pancreatitis caused by gallstones, statins increase risk. So now you've got an increased risk of gallstones. And if you understand the cholesterol system, which your doctor does not, I guarantee you, unless he's a researcher, the rare researcher, your doctor doesn't. He's, he's giving you a statin drug because he read a study that says it lowers MI risk by a certain percent. The, the sales rep told him. But if you understand cholesterol chemistry, you'll know that statins obviously are going to increase the risk of bile problems and, and gallstone problems because it's all part of the cholesterol system and you can't just monkey around with it artificially. It doesn't make sense. Okay, I'm Pharmacist Ben. I'm going to tell you a couple more cool things about melatonin here. Melatonin and the sun. Melatonin, as it turns out, is sun protection too. We'll talk about that when we come back from a break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. All right, we're back on the break.
right side. We've got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you here in uh, our next segment. A couple more things I want to say about melatonin. Love, love, love this stuff. It's not a panacea, but it is pretty, pretty darn cool. We've only really known about melatonin for about 50, 50 or 60 years. It was first discovered, I think, in the late 50s. And it's actually not just in people, melatonin. Melatonin is in plants. Plants make melatonin. All plants, pretty much. Tiny amounts of it anyway. Although you can get, you know, some amount, some uh, nutritional melatonin in olives, walnuts, barley, strawberries. Olive oil has a little bit of melatonin. So you can get melatonin from foods. That's not a bad way to do it. And also, the amino acid tryptophan is a uh, amazing amino acid that stuff is. You, you don't necessarily want to take tryptophan by itself, but tryptophan containing foods, which are going to be dairy, eggs, high protein foods, whey protein is a good source of tryptophan. That can help boost your melatonin levels. Tryptophan and melatonin have an interesting connection. They're both related to light. Tryptophan, if you want to really be, have your mind blown by nutrition and chemistry, tryptophan actually manipulates the light. Tryptophan turns light into people. It turns light into biology. It turns light into us. Uh, it's amazing. It's light active. Absolutely mind-blowing amino acid tryptophan is. It's a precursor or it's a raw material for making melatonin also. So eating tryptophan containing foods is another way. So you don't necessarily need to supplement if you're uh, one of those folks that doesn't, doesn't want to supplement, uh, doesn't feel comfortable supplementing. Some people don't, especially with a hormone. Although personally, I take three milligrams or sometimes six milligrams every night, and I love the stuff. So melatonin is a fat stabilizer, protects against neuropathy, anti-diabetic, keeps your fat stable inside, inside your blood, and you can apply melatonin topically. In fact, it's actually a sun protection, a sun protection uh, ingredient. You can make your own sunscreen. And by the way, anybody who tells you that sunscreens, any medical professional who tells you to slather on a sunscreen just flat out doesn't understand chemistry. Melatonin, on the other hand, is non-toxic, benign. And the same way it protects <clears throat> the fatty, fatty layers on the outside of cells, the cell membrane, it does the same thing for the skin. 2002 article from the British Journal of Dermatology. Do, do, do. Melatonin, in conjunction with vitamin C and E, was shown to protect the skin from sunburn. And if it's going to protect the skin from sunburn, you can infer it's going to protect your skin from other environmental insults. Somebody should come up with a melatonin topical product, or you can make your own. Forget coming up with a melatonin topical product. Go get yourself some melatonin capsules. Break it, a three milligram, five milligram capsule. Break open the melatonin, add it to water, throw in a little lemon juice. Actually, forget water, throw it, put it in some green tea. Add in a little lemon juice or lime juice to get your vitamin C. Add your melatonin, you get yourself a sun protection spray, an anti-environmental -env uh, uh, assault protection spray. This idea of using antioxidants, by the way, as sun protection is really, really important to understand. Antioxidants, like vitamin C, vitamin C especially, alpha lipoic acid, vitamin E, melatonin, these are wonderful ways to protect your skin from sunburn. I'm talking about applying them topically topically. That's what we should be doing. We should be using topical nutrients to protect ourselves from the sun, not toxic sunscreens. And I, yes, they're toxic. They kill cells. That's how they work. Or that's not how they work. That's one of the things they do. They kill cells. They're cytotoxic. Google, octomethoxycinamate and cytotoxicity. If you can remember that. Octomethoxycinamate and cell death. The more you use a sunscreen, the more toxic it becomes because the stuff accumulates, especially in fat. On the other hand, the more you use your melatonin topically and your vitamin C topically, the more that accumulates and the more health benefits you get. <laughs> Which, how does the sunscreen get to be the, the uh, uh, treatment of choice? That should be the alternative. The alternative should be using topical antioxidants. And by the way, internal antioxidants are always going to be the most important, especially internal uh, phytonutrient antioxidants, like the carotenes. Using nutritional antioxidants as sun protection not only gives you the sun protection,